Good afternoon. Happy, happy Saturday. How, how every dang is doing. How is everybody today? I'm just going to pour myself some tea. I just came home from hanging out at the mall, walking around. I had some Shake Shack, a cheeseburger again. I just love that. And um, played a scratch off, one nothing. It's not one of those days. And um, was listening to one of my favorite podcasts that happens to have a news program here on YouTube. And they are giving you the lowdown and everything that has been happening and everything that may just happen within the Disney company and as far as ESPN and the sports packages are concerned. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is at this, at the end of this, when it's loaded, I'm going to leave the link in the comments below so that you guys can understand what's going on. If you feel concerned, absolutely. I think you should be concerned. Um, this is ridiculous, but that's what it is. I'm calling this, I'm saying that this may actually wind up to be at least another seven days. I'm going to go as for today, Saturday, I'm going to go at least as next Friday for this little uh, stunt that Disney is pulling. You know, today college football is on, on channel seven here, ABC, and you know, nobody's watching it, but <laughs> it is what it is. You can, however, get some sports packages um, streaming on here on YouTube, they're available. But please understand this, and this was already mentioned in the video that I'm going to post on in my comments. Um, you know, just because the prices may be going up, and they may be going up at least $15 to $20 a package more per channel. Okay, this is what Disney's actually pushing for, folks. Um, so this really ain't funny. So if they do that, who's to say that because of the situations that you're watching here well you know youtube is 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 cheaper they have a nice package going you know disney owns still owns espn you know so there is a shot that disney just may be going after all these other little companies as well so you know if the price is going to go up one way if the price is going to go up in one section you damn well know it's going to go up in another section so um right now everybody's been hanging loose like, you know, it's going to be, you know, you say that now, oh, it's, I'm fine, it's good and everything. Yeah, well, really, I am. Number one, I have no kids, so I don't have to worry about the Disney Channel. Number two, my sports team happens to be in 28th place behind first place. So my sports team is not doing so well, and maybe that's a good thing, which happens to be the New York Mets. They were, they were playing last night, and it's always so happens that whenever I don't watch them, in this case, I couldn't watch them. But whenever I don't watch them, they tend to win. So last night, of course, they won. And they do have a new player on my team. And he did very good for our team last night. Doesn't matter. We're still in 28th place. So, you know, 28 games behind. See you next year. Um, <laughs> hopefully next year we'll have a better sports package or something. You know, I'll still be able to see them. Um, like parents are waking up this morning maybe your child wants to watch a disney channel they go over run over to the tv set they want to watch the show bluey and bluey ain't happening so so i'm sure that parents are like oh god i gotta hear this kid cry you know what you people seem to have been okay with certain things i know something within your family somewhere you have a sports nut you have a cartoon person um if this lasts any longer going into, let's say, October. I'm already thinking October. Remember, on FX and the Freeform channel, 31 days of Halloween. So, you know, you guys may be missing that as well. So I hope you guys are gonna have a lot more to do the month of October to keep the cells busy in case this does roll over into other things. The National Geographic channel is out. My friend called me up last night. What the hell is the deal? Why, why, what is this crap? They, they, they took the channel. Yes, they did. Um, this is how well people listen. I says to her, I says, you know, Disney owns these things. Okay. I feel that if Disney really wanted to just go after ESPN, they should have just went after ESPN. Why did you have to go into every other channel? But you see, this is where they're nitpicky. And they are a bunch of, and I will say this, punk asses. I said it because I felt the need to. Okay? Yes, they are. That is right now the nicest thing that I can call them. Okay? So far, I'm not affected by it, but I'm sure like in everybody's family, there will be somebody that is affected by it. You know? You can't, how can you help these things? You just can't help it. 
Just because you're okay with it doesn't mean your family members are okay with it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be traumatic for a while. So I'm calling this maybe today, Saturday. I'm thinking this will last until maybe next Friday. That's what I'm saying. And as of now, I'm going to, there are a few YouTube channel podcasts that I do listen to and I watch. They are amazing. I am so glad that I connected with them. I am so glad that I'm getting good, strong information and the truth. It's God's honest truth. Um, they called it a few weeks ago. They called it as they seen it. They predicted it. It happened. However, they are a little bit in shock because they didn't realize that this was going to happen, that Disney was actually going to do this. But that's the method to Disney's madness. So I, for one, am not shocked. I'm, I'm really not. They just didn't think it was going to go to this level. So now we're 24 hours into the channel blackouts, and here they stay, you know. Um, they are doing this at the sports thing. They are doing this at probably just the right time. They hit you where they live is what they were doing. And you know what? So for the people who are loyal to them, you will be affected some way, somehow, someday, maybe not now, but Disney will probably pull crap on you too to where you will feel it and you're not going to like it, guaranteed. And it's going to go around. What comes around goes around. So that's what I always say. Um, Disney stocks are drop, 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 drop. And they went from 80, 83 down to 80, then back up to 81, then to 82, then went back down to 81. So we're figuring also by the end of maybe this week coming that Disney will be in the official 70s as far as stocks are concerned, okay? With the fact that two of their own stock members on the board two of their own members in disney that own stocks are now suing disney they're suing bob Iger, and i think chappick is actually involved in this way to go so this is going to be really exciting but what i'm going to do is at the end of this video i'm going to leave the link to the video in which i think you, you should see so this way it gives you a better insight as to what is really happening and what is the talks that are going on now with disney and espn and the cable companies um it ain't funny, folks, but that's the way it goes. Anyhow, just figured I'd let you know on that. Um, I think I'm going to leave. I wish you all a good rest of the Labor Day weekend. Um, I'm going to go off the air for a few days, back and forth maybe. I have some housework to probably do tomorrow. My back is not doing so well. I sit down, I can't get up. I'd rather just stay up and walk. I'm better when I'm standing because if I lay down or sit down, I am done for the rest of the night. And that's the way it is right now. All right, people. Um, be sure to check out what's going to be in my comments after I load the video. All right, take care. Love to all. God bless you. Happy Saturday. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to me. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.